Number 21. Calculate the average pressure exerted on the palm of a shot putter's hand by the shot if the area of contact is 50 uh, squared centimeters and he exerts a force of 800 newtons on it. All right. Uh, so this one's fairly straightforward, right? I mean, uh, they give us an area, they give us a force, and what we are asked to do is find pressure. So you're thinking about an equation, if we have one that relates those three variables together, and we do, right? We have this equation right here that the pressure uh, uh, on an object uh, is equal to the force applied divided by the area over which that force is applied. So to find the pressure here, we need to know the force. They told it to us, 800 newtons. And then we need to know the area, right? Remember, force though is in newtons, area has to be in meters squared. So they told us in centimeters squared. So we just have to do a very, very quick conversion, right? So this is going to be 50 centimeters squared. Then put centimeter on the bottom, meter on the top, 100 centimeters for every meter. But realize that there's only one centimeter here and there are two here. What you can do is you can multiply this again by itself, right? Then you would have centimeter down here, meter at the top. Notice the two centimeters would cancel the two over here. And then you have meters squared, which is good. You could do that. That's great. Or just simply take this and square it. I mean, we're saying the same thing, right? It's just a little easier this way. Um, but feel free to do it either way you like. So it's 50 uh, divided by now 100 times 100 or 100 squared. And this is going to work out to be 0 0.005. Uh, I'm disregarding sig figs here. Just plug in the number and then we'll consider the sig figs. All right, meters squared. So let's take that and throw it on into the formula and then we'll throw it on into the calculator. So it's 800 divided by that value of 0 0.005. So it looks like we get a value of 1.60. We should have about three sig figs now. Uh, what do we got? Three, four, five. So this is gonna be to the fifth and that's in terms of Pascal. So that would be the amount of pressure. And then it says, uh, the next part, it says compare, uh, express it in newtons per meter. All right, so we did that newtons per meter squared, by the way. Um, I meant to say newtons per meter squared. Uh, that is equivalent to a Pascal, so we're good. And compare it with the uh, 1 times 10 to the 6th uh, Pascal pressure sometimes encountered in the scale system. So basically what they're doing, anytime they're saying compare, I mean, it's kind of a little ambiguous, right? Compare it how? Percentage-wise, fractional-wise, do you want to... How many more units are there uh, on a on a scale of system than there are here? You know, by doing like a subtraction, I don't know. So I'm just going to do a fractional value. Basically, take the value, and it doesn't matter which way you do it. All right, if I take the value that's given, right, or that we calculated on the palm, and then divide it by the scalar uh, pressure, all right, 1.6, we're finding the ratio in relation to the skeletal system, right? So if I take that. Uh, 1.6 times 10 to the 5 and then divide it by 1 times 10 to the 6th, we realize that, I don't really know why I needed a calculator for that, but I plugged it in anyway. Um, this is going to be uh, 0.16, meaning that uh, compared to the skeletal system, all right, the, uh, the pressure on the shot putter's hand is going to be 16 hundredths that of uh, pressure sometimes encountered in the skeletal system. All right. So that should be good. Guys, hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. Hit that like button if it helped too. And we'll see you next time. Take care.